All, all right. So we are back. Um, I'm just going to kind of pick up right where we left off. Um, but if you haven't seen the first video, that was more basic kind of intro stuff, just, you know, general how to play and kind of what we're looking at. Um, but this video, I'm going to just kind of, I think, play a sector or two more, um, a little less focused on the gameplay, you know, that's happening right there. And instead kind of focus on some bigger topics and some more advanced techniques and just like things that you should look out for and what you should think about and just various stuff like that. So, um, we'll just kind of continue on, um, right away. I'm just going to say we got this store here. I'm probably going to save up some more money, kind of the same strategy that I used before. Um, it is, it's definitely a good thing to do. If you have less than like 30 or like 50 scrap, it's usually not really worth your time to even go to the store unless you like really need fuel or to repair. So I'm going to try to kind of jump around. Um, but like, as we can see, once again, the advanced scanners are coming in clutch because I can see there's a ship here, AKA I'll get a reward. So we'll kind of bounce around here and hopefully get to the store. Um, a good tip, another thing to look out for right at the start here, I'm going to show you always when you get to a new sector, check the exit because sometimes what you, what you'll see is something like this. So say you're going to come, I mean, it's, this is not, a, not an extreme example, but say you're like going all the way up here and you're like, I'm going to jump to the exit from here. And as you can see, there's no connector here. Now, obviously this is not that bad because you can just go down here, but sometimes it'll be crazy and you'll have like this beacon here and you'll have to literally come all the way down here or some garbage like that. And you'll be screwed because then you'll have to backtrack all the way. So always, you know, unless it, I mean, you, unless it's like super obvious, I would definitely always just hover over the exit and make sure that you can connect to it via a reasonable pathway here. Um, but yeah, we're going to wait on this store. So we're just going to jump around. Um, one of the first things I wanted to talk about, uh, let's see, local sensors pick up two ships engaged. Uh, it seems the Manus military ship will surely defeat its prey. Let's aid the civilian ship. Um, so this is one of the things I wanted to talk about, boarding. Now, up until now, we've only really dealt with just shooting ships. But this ship, as you can see, the Mantis in general are a specialty. They, they tend to have borders more often, but as you can see, this is a teleporter. So shortly, they're going to teleport someone over to us. Now, there are a couple of ways to deal with borders. Um, one way, I'm going to quickly move over, is... Um, let's see if we get their time. So they'll beam someone over. Um, I mean, they went into our doors. So you can fight borders one-on-one -on -one, um, or two-on-two -two or, you know, whatever. You can fight them in hand-to-hand combat, which is the simplest way, but it's also dangerous because your own crew will take damage. Um, another good way to deal with borders is if he were to beam into here, we could just open these doors and vent him and he would suffocate while he's trying to break through this door. The other thing to note is since we only have level one doors, they're orange here, you can see, that means anyone, any enemy can just walk right through. So essentially that venting strategy won't work because then they'll just walk out that. Um, so instead, uh, what we're gonna do is probably just fight this guy right now. Um, we don't have a lot of options. Um, I would say if they're in a pretty bad spot, like near an airlock, kind of just vent them and let them suffocate. I'm sure we'll see more and I'll, I'll do that strategy. But um, with level, with level one doors, it's kind of hard because they'll just walk through the doors. So we're just going to fight here, as you can see. Um, you can hover over a battle and you can see their health. So Charlie, our guy here, um, you'll notice he has 150 health and Frederick here has 100. And you can kind of see as they go down um, real quick, our weapons are charged. Not too worried about their weapons, let's just go for their shields. Um, <clears throat> So they're going to fight. As you can see, we're at 59 health. He's at 45. So we're winning this fight for the most part. Let's see. They released the bomb. So that was the ion bomb I was talking about. They stunned our pilot. You'll see our dodge chance is now zero. It'll go back up momentarily once this cools down. But uh, we are temporarily unable to dodge. Not a big deal because, you know, um, they don't really have good weapons at all. So let's just make sure that he's not going to die. Now, Mantis... I'm going to talk about races too, but Mantis are good fighters, so it's a bit close here. Um, I'm going to move Charlie out. That was way close. <laughs> Do not play it as close as I did. Um, uh, I'm going to drop down our engines because I'm not worried about dodging to heal Frederick up, or Charlie, sorry. So as long as he's in there, he'll heal. That was way too close. I should not have played it that close, but he beamed out anyways, so um, we should mostly be okay here. Just gonna let Charlie heal while we keep shooting off bursts. Oh, so 
right there you notice it just kind of burned up and we did damage uh, the burst laser as you can see possible effect fire um, most weapons have a secondary effect that is I don't know the exact number is probably like a 10% 20% chance um, and for a burst laser it's fire so we messed a little fire in there and it is slowly burning away their shields which is excellent because when there's a fire you have to first put out the fire before you can fix anything so their shields are in trouble um, we're gonna go for their piloting now so that we don't miss our future shots if we take that out they can't dodge okay they're being dumb again Charlie's still healing so um, their teleporters recharging I'm gonna drop Charlie back in the doors for now so as you can see what I was saying now that he's manning okay this is something I should mention um, I'm just gonna pause it and talk about that real quick I did not mention this in the first video but it is a very important thing that you can't really tell most of the time but if you are manning a system it will get a boost so having Chris or Karis sorry having Karis working the guns our guns are gonna charge at like a 0.1% faster um, having someone in the shields our shields will recharge slightly faster um, and the more noticeable ones are having someone in the doors will upgrade them by one so now as you can see they're gray that means they are pretty much blast doors um, so enemies can no longer walk freely through they will have to attack and break them down which is huge um, we can also achieve this same effect by just paying to upgrade our doors but I tend to not do that right away um, and then if you upgrade your sensors or have someone manning it like typing away at the computer here they will you'll be able to see the enemy ships interior so we blew them up um, let's get Charlie fully healed. Uh, the Manship breaks apart. We got some wars. Contact the Civ ship. Um, they did not survive, so we're just going to scrap what's left. Um, but we'll let Charlie here uh, heal. So, yeah, having people man the systems is definitely a really good strategy. If I would, were to give a tip, let's make sure our engine's powered so we can leave, um, I would man the four main systems first uh, your piloting, your shields, your engines, and your weapons. Excuse me. Those are the four you want to focus on first. Once you have four crew members to do that, then I would staff someone in the doors so that you can have that extra blast door protection. And then I would staff someone in the uh, sensors because it's, it's not hugely useful, but it, it's helpful. Um, and then after that, I usually will staff any remaining crew because I think you can have up to 10, maybe. It depends on the ship, but around 10 crew members. Maybe, no, maybe eight. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and I'll staff them in places like Oxygen, which doesn't get a manning bonus. If we bring him up here, he just stands there. Um, not because it does any you know, noticeable boost, but because if Oxygen is damaged, then I'll have someone to quickly fix. And same with like cloning or my drone bay, you know, whatever. Um, so that's kind of the order that I would staff them. But So we dealt with that ship. Um, there is the store. So what I'm going to do, I'm kind of, I haven't been upgrading too much here, but... We did get our first layer, layer of shields, so I think we're mostly okay. Um, I'm trying to get a bit more money. I'm going to check out this store. Um, that's what I like to do. I think a good strategy, I think, is... Uh, oh, this is a great deal. So, I mean, we don't... We do need missiles, but we're not really relying on them. And for 5 fuel, I'm going to take it again, so we'll do that. But, um... Yeah, so we're... Well, should we hit one more, maybe, and then... Screw it, yeah. I like to play a little risky. Um, I try to save up if I'm up right next to a store, and then after that, you know, deal with it. So as soon as you jump into the system, you receive a hail from a nearby civilian NG ship, or NG vessel. Their captain appears on your screen. Strange bug. Can you assist in debugging? So we can either listen to their problem or explain you can't do any programming and leave. We'll listen to them. Um, found malfunction mantis. Believe it is human. We'll receive input only from human. Danger. Evaluation extremely high. Provide assistance. Okay, so this is something else I wanted to talk about. You will have many options for many events here. Um, we can send a shuttle with an away team to help or leave them a corner mantis is too dangerous. However, you'll notice this option is blue. These are blue options. These are only appear if you have a certain condition met. So in this case, a human crew member. Um, we have plenty of those, obviously only need one. But for example, um, having a rock crew will do some blue events for some events. Um, having a like a beam weapon to cut out certain ships from stuff will help so you can't predict all of them but you'll notice these will pop up and the reason they're good is because um, if you click on them you will they, like pretty much they never fail there's never a bad outcome in pretty much all of them um, so if you get a blue option there's really no reason not to click it it pretty much means it's a safe option you won't lose any crew you won't take damage whatever 
So as you can see, we clicked it. The mantis is grateful to see, quote unquote, another human and introduces himself as Robert Smith. He explains he's from a nearby human colony and would appreciate being returned home. Return him home. Um, and we're at the events continuing. So the colony is a mining operation. They specialize in FTL fuel. Robert's family, the head engineers, are excited to see him and are grateful for his return. Apparently, he ran away to join the Federation like his older brother, but was never accepted onto a ship. Um, so we can offer him a position on our ship, and we will. He graciously accepts. Awesome. So we got Smith, who is a mantis. Now, um, Mantis, uh, this is another thing I want to talk about, is the races of the game. I'm going to go a bit more in depth into each of them and kind of what they, they do. So humans don't have any really benefits. Um, they do gain skills faster than other races, but that's not really that good. Um, this is going to sound counterintuitive. There was just a blue option right there that required a human crew member, but that's like one of the only few in the game. Humans don't really give you that many bonus options or anything. Um, like I said, of course, there was one right there. But most of the time, they're they're kind of generic and don't really offer that much. But they're okay. They have no faults. Uh, rocks here move at half speed of everyone else. However, also have 1.5 times health. So you'll see he has 150 health, whereas everyone else here has 100. They are also immune to fire. So they're good at putting out fires. Um, and that's pretty much it for them. And then Mantis here are twice as fast as other races um, opposite of the rock and they do double damage in combat so they are amazing for boarding enemy ships or fighting off invaders um, however they also repair things at half speed because they have big claws and cannot use tools i guess so they're not good at repairing things um, we'll put our friend smith here indoors like i said so now we have a bit more um, blast doors, you'll see at some point, I'm sure we'll get boarded again. Um, but we are now quite a bit more secure. Um, let's see, what else is there? So let's, well, let's pop by the store now. Um, there are NGs, which I talked about briefly in the last episode. Is there anything here we want? Let's see. We don't have drones still. Don't really need or afford much of this. Uh, okay, here we go. Interesting. So, this is another one of the best weapons in the game. It is essentially a garbage shotgun, <laughs> but it is very powerful because it can take down shields like nobody's business. Um, so this is, if you see this, it's not necessarily an instant purchase like the uh, the uh, scanners were or whatever, but it is very good. Um, I kind of want to get it. Now, the thing is we cannot afford it. However, I have a strategy. We can sell the Artemis, which will give us 19, which will give us enough to buy it. Um, however, the catch is we will not have enough power, but I think that's gonna be worth it. So, um, like I said, missile weapons have their, you know, their time in the spotlight. They do go through shields, but with the limited ammo, they're really not good to rely on. You know, if I had enough money, I wouldn't sell it yet. I'd hold on to it. But since we're kind of tight, I am gonna sell this um, for 19. We're up to 78. We can now buy the flak. So if we go to our ship, you can see we now have a flat gun. Now the flat gun requires two power, so we can't use it quite yet. Um, so I'm gonna be relying on just the burst laser, which is a bit risky because if we can't break enemy shields, we're in trouble, but uh, you know, we should be okay for now. So we got that, that's good stuff. We still have a ton of fuel, a ton of health, so we're good. Anyways, the NG, our engineers, they are pretty standard. Really, they're only, uh, the subsystem appears quite peaceful nothing here. Their real benefit is they repair at twice the speed of anyone else. Um, so they are, well, they're engineers. They're great at fixing things, which is super good. Well, I'm sure we'll see some soon. Um, they also do half combat damage, aka they're weak. They don't fight very well. <clears throat> um, and those are the four main races you're going to see a lot, but there are some others that we got to talk about. So this is, this is what I'm saying. If we went up here to try to go and then we're like, oh damn, we can't get across, you know. So let's, let's pop here, but we'll kind of look down in this area, I think, and search around. So, um, another race are the Zoltan. We will try... Oh, look at this. Free stuff. Federation sympathizers, contact you as you arrive. We know your mission should be secret, so don't ask how we know about it. Take this schematic and all... It's all we can do to help. 12 scrap and a shield overcharger drone. So this is one of those drones. Um, pretty much what it does is it make... Well, you can see it creates a single super, she super shield barrier periodically. Um, we can't even use it because we don't have a drone system, um, so we'll probably be selling that at a store. Now, there is a store here, but it's kind of out of our way, so we're going to give it a miss, plus we don't even have that much money. 
Um, let's pop down here. Well, we got five, one. Yeah, let's, let's go to this because we know there's a ship, so we'll get some combat here. All right. The area looks clear and you prepare to jump off, but a Mantis Scout jumps in behind you. They're as surprised as you are, but their weapons are already online. All right, they have a pretty good weapon setup. They have pretty much exactly what we had. So this is going to be a bit dangerous here. Um, we're going to target their weapons first, for sure. Uh, make sure to save my positions, just in case I didn't. Um, we're going to take some damage here, definitely, but hopefully we'll be okay. The missile comes in. All right, that's bad. So they went right for our piloting, so we now have no dodge. So we're going to get hit full force by this laser. Um, not much we can do. Okay, they went for our doors, so I'm just going to pause it here. King here is fixing up our piloting. Hopefully he gets that back quickly. Smith is fixing our doors, and like I said, he's not good at repairing, so it's going to take a while. But we also don't really need the doors right now. We're not going to be keeping any intruders out or anything, so I think we should be okay. Um, our burst did manage to knock down their burst laser long enough to have it down. Uh, we're going to take another missile here. Okay, they just went to a random room. This, oh, we lit another fire. That's so good. All right. Let's just go for their shields now. This is another type of effect, kind of like a fire. It's a breach, and it pretty much sucks the oxygen out, and we need to fix it. So I'm going to send Charlie up here to start getting that, because we don't really need shields at peak efficiency. Um, let's launch into their weapons. I don't want them to get another missile off, if possible. Nice. So we shut it down, and they're down. So as you can see, the oxygen got sucked out. Uh, we got some rewards here. He's fixing it. He's taking a bit of damage because he's suffocating. But he is a trooper. He's got it done. So let's get everyone healed. A trick you can do, uh, obviously, if you click on them here or click on their themselves, you can you know, select them. You can also drag here. You can drag on the ship. You can hold down shift and click everyone. Um, so we'll send them all up here. Now let's power our med bay and let them all heal. Um... And this is a perfect demonstration of why you should be saving your crew members. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but enter. They all go back to where they came from. Very, very easy. Um, so here's the exit. Like I said, you don't really want to race there. We could go straight up. But instead, we got, what, four jumps. So let's go one, two. Well, yeah, let's go one, two, and then three. Um, so the Zoltan is another race that hopefully we'll encounter pretty soon. Oh, this is amazing. All right. Wow, we're getting lucky here. So we got another free weapon. Um, you know, this game is based on random number generators, RNG. So, you know, you get random events every time. Every game is different. But here we go. Debris from a battle scattered around the system. A few pieces bounce, together, bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there's a functioning weapon among them. So this is a beam weapon. And this is a very good beam weapon. We cannot use it yet. as you can, I mean, we technically could if we powered everything down. But... I'm not going to do it quite yet here. So um, instead, we will just hold on to it. But it's definitely good. So hopefully we can you know, get something going with that. Um, but let's continue here. So yeah, hopefully we find some Zoltan soon. They're pretty unique. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Yeah, once again, we're not paying their toll. So let's just take them out here. They have some missileage. Let me go for their weapons here. All right, yeah, so the Zoltan here, um, or not here, but the Zoltan. Great, all right, he's gonna fix that, that's fun. They are, they have 75% health, so they're super weak, but they power, they give you one bar of power. Oh, great, we're getting torn up by this missile launcher. All right, we took it down. Our sensors are down, that's not a big deal. Um, Feardom is fixing our engines. They're back online now. Now, they're orange, as you can see, because they're partially repaired. So they do work a little bit, but not at peak capacity. We're just going to leave our sensors for now. I mean, I guess we can put Smith in there to get him going. As long as we keep this missile launcher down, we should be okay. We're just going to keep going into their weapons. There we go. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. Whatever, we can just go into their weapons. They're not going anywhere yet. Um, so yeah, the Zoltan will give you one bar of power if they're in a room, which is really, really helpful, actually. Um, so I would say they're one of the best races in the game. Hopefully we can find one. They're kind of glowy green aliens. Um, and then, oh, so here we go. So while, while we have it here, since I have Smith manning the sensors, this is what happens. We can see inside. Our lasers just killed one of their crew, but we can see where their crew is and everything like that. So they're not even, well, they're going to repair it now. I think we can probably go for their shields. It's going to take a while for them to get that back. 
power our engines back up to the med bay. Wow, nice. Nice. Okay, so, oh, this is a Zoltan right here. I have a mod that makes them, all the races have more color palettes, but it's just cosmetic. But he's, they're kind of sparkly and glowy. Um, hopefully we can pick some of them up, because they have some good uh, blue options that we can do. So, in terms of weapon options, this is one of my favorite setups. We got uh, this is, I mean, this game's random. We got so lucky to get this, but um, having generally a good weapon setup, you want a couple of good shield dropping options, such as a burst laser of some design or a flak, and then you want something that can do big damage. Um, so it could be a missile launcher, um, but beams are really good. This is one of my favorite general setups. It can be any beam and any laser. It doesn't have to be these, but the idea is if you can drop their shields with lasers and then use a beam. Beams you kind of rake across multiple rooms. I'll try to show it off here at some point. And they do a ton of damage, so they're super good. So that's kind of one of my favorite um, weapon setups that I uh, try to go for a lot. It's very powerful. Alongside some other things like cloaking or hacking, it is a surefire way to win the game. Um, <clears throat> so we're just going to keep taking these guys out. As, oh, okay, so this is bad. They're about to jump. Um, there's not much we can do. I'm going to target their shit or their uh, piloting if we get lucky. Okay, we took them down. Hopefully they don't fix this too quickly. Oh, this is going to be tight. If they fix this, they're going to jump like immediately. But if we can... Ooh. Oh, they jumped! Yeah, so that's what happens if they run. I should have been more paying attention. Um, and they hit us randomly. So we didn't get anything there because they ran away. It's a shame. I should have paid more attention. It's too busy talking. But, um, yeah, you want to avoid that generally. Let's get feared him. I don't know what that name is, but I respect it. Get him healed up, send everyone back, get our engines. Now, what I'm going to do is get some upgrades here. So, I think our best bet... Wow, we just don't have that much money. All right, we're going to get... Uh, pff, man, all right. <laughs> Not going to get anything yet. I'm just going to come to the exit here. <clears throat> Um, I want to get this weapon system online. So, one fuel for five missiles. We don't even have a missile weapon anymore, so we're just going to ignore this guy. And let's jump to the next sector. So here we go. We have Mantis controlled or Zoltan controlled. Now, when you're picking between these, like I said earlier in the last episode, green tends to be easier than red. Um, so if you want to go that route just to make things easier. However, you also will probably get less rewards in green sections. Um, another big thing to consider is, do you have crews of the type? Zoltan controlled areas are gonna have more Zoltan generally. Mantis controlled areas are gonna have more Mantis. And uh, in, in doing so, there's gonna be more Mantis events or more Zoltan events. Now we don't have a Zoltan, but we do have a Mantis. So I think I'm gonna go here just, even though it's harder, um, I'm gonna do it for the more rewards and hopefully we can get some stuff going. So let's send it. Now, you also want to take into account various things. You'll learn as you play, but Mantis, as you can see, board a lot. Rocks have a lot of missile-based weapons. Zoltans have super shields, um, stuff like that. So we have an asteroid field here. These are not so bad, but you do want to have good shields. We'll probably go here right away um, just to show what it's like. These are in the environmental hazards, so as you can see, we have tons of asteroids. Now, this ship is very poorly equipped because it does not have shields. It is going to get destroyed in this asteroid field. Um, so, as you can see, there's kind of asteroids that come at you and do damage to your shield or hit your ship. I don't know what this thing's doing out here. Um, a quick thing to point out, we've been fighting a lot of these ships. These are Rebel Scouts. These are unmanned, meaning they have no crew inside them. If we move you into sensors, as you can see, there's no one in there and it's completely devoid of oxygen. So that means various strategies like killing crew won't work. And it also means they don't really repair their stuff. Now, they do technically. It has an auto repair that's at like half the speed. But they're pretty weak in terms of repairing. So if you get something destroyed on them, you're probably going to be good to go. So that was easy as hell because they were very unprepared. But um, let's go. Now, a thing to note, when you're in an asteroid field, even if you beat the enemy, you're still quote-unquote in danger, so you can't upgrade your ship or anything so we gotta go um, we're gonna go here hopefully get some more scrap and once we get this we're gonna be in a good spot to upgrade so let's see all right discover a discover a rebel automated autonomous scout the AI wastes no time in engaging your ship this ship has cloaking that's what this eye is so they 
Well, first, it starts to power its FTL. It's going to try to escape. But it is cloaked. When it is cloaked, for if we have cloaking or they, um, our weapons will not charge, and we cannot target anything, obviously. <clears throat> so they're pretty much charging. We need, even though, so they have a pretty legitimate kind of weapon setup right now, but I can't take any chances. I gotta go for their piloting right off the bat here because I do not want them to run. We need this money. So we're gonna wait. Okay, so this is the Burst Laser Mark three. It is, well, so it shoots five lasers instead of three. However, it takes a lot more power to use and it charges a lot slower. So it's generally a little worse, um, kind of cost benefit. Okay, so we took some damage, not great. Our shields are down by one bubble, as you can see. Our weapons, fortunately, since we had that third extra bar, kind of as a mulligan, uh, our burst laser did not go down. Okay, so we took their piloting down. Now we gotta focus on their weapons here. Um, our crew's gonna repair it. They're not gonna really be able to run. I need to get these down because I don't wanna take too much more damage. All right, they're cloaking again. Terrific. <clears throat> we got everything back up, which is good. Um, so like I said, since they don't have crew, they don't really repair things very fast. All right, we're taking damage, but that's all right. We got their weapons mostly down here. Um, we're going to fix up. So we do need to get some uh, hull repair going pretty soon. We're in danger. But if we keep doing that, there we go, they're down. All right. Boom. So just checking the map here, make sure there's no stores next to us. Got to be a bit careful, but we are going to get some upgrades here that'll make us quite a bit more powerful. One to get another weapon power or weapon you know bar for power another power or two and that will allow us to activate the flak now that is going to be a much more potent weapon system so we will not be taking quite as much damage um, next we'll probably you probably want to focus on engines um, you should probably focus on it before this but since I have such a good weapon setup I kind of wanted to do that so you over here, Mantis Calm Chatter. The one on the right is starting to rot. Take him down. Take off his fingers. Put him out of the airlock. Oof. They certainly don't seem to be friendly. Let's attack them. So they're going to try to board us again. However, oh, I didn't heal my crew. That was a big L. Um, this time, we have Blast Doors, so we can work a bit better around that, hopefully. Okay, so they healed in the med bay. This is another great strategy for boarders. If they're in the med bay, what you can do is turn on your own med bay and send your crew in. They will then fight while your crew heals. Pretty much, you cannot lose. So that guy should be no problem. Um, we're getting ready here. Our flak is ready. We're going to launch this. As you can see, it's like a big area. <clears throat> we're going to launch it at their shields. It goes. It takes their shields down, as you can see, like a shotgun. And then we're going to focus on their weapons. There we go. So we took their weapons down. Um, just gonna let the okay he beamed away he was scared as you can see it, it destroys their shields and even more so, okay we probably shouldn't have just done that but whatever <clears throat> uh, let's send the flak in on their piloting now and try to get our burst laser going here uh, i'm gonna save it up so that our flak can break their shields and we can okay so this fool beamed back in However, he did not pick a great spot, so this is what I'm talking about. You can pretty safely... There we go, they're done. So, as you can see, he's he's in trouble. His ship's gone. Just gotta wait for this guy to, to go. We're gonna send all of our homies here to heal while he slowly suffocates there. But you can see what I mean. They have to break through now instead of just walking freely, and that makes it pretty rough for them. So he is down. Close the doors, let it refill, and then send everyone back. Perfect. Um, another ship. I'd like to find a store. We're not really in danger of dying yet, but we're, we're hurting. Um, so let's try to do that here. Um, there's a couple more races I didn't really talk about. They're a bit more low-key. You don't see them as much. They're slugs which kind of have telepathic powers they can see inside enemy ships. There's Lanius, which don't need oxygen. Um, in fact, they suck the oxygen out of a room. And then there's uh, Crystal, which are super rare and kind of almost like secret. And I'm not going to spoil too much about that, but they are around. 
Okay, we got just some asshole trying to fight us. Nothing special going here. Uh, depower the medbay, get some more dodge going. All right, so that. So he came in. He's going to distract our captain, but we can send our own mantis to start help fighting in the back. As you can see, this guy is getting kind of worked now. Um, so he should be no problem. Let's launch a flak cannon at their. Well, so. Their weapons can't hurt us again because they only have crappy weapons. So let's just, we'll put it on the piloting, I guess. And then launch our lasers. This is a great strategy. Pause it right as their shields go down and then aim whatever your secondary weapon is. And we missed a ton, but whatever. All right. So let's wait up for a second. Um, get another burst going. I'm not too concerned because they can't really hurt us. But there we go again. God, the ship's dodge is too good. Um, let's try to take that down next time here. We'll launch our flak and then our burst laser shortly after. There we go. So they're trying to run, um, which is not great. Their piloting is down, which is good. But we will try to further hinder them by taking out their engines if possible. So since their piloting's down, they can't dodge anything, which is why they're doing a bunch of damage here. Should have these guys in no time. <clears throat> we'll just launch this last volley, and they're done. Perfect. So they blow up. Some scrap. Nice. We're going to send King, our pilot, to heal here. Um, so that's pretty much all for the races. Is there anything else I really wanted to talk about? Um, not particularly. I think we'll just finish off this sector and that'll be another video here. Um, a distress. Okay. We're going to hit this. What are we going to do here? We're going to hit this ship and then the distress. With 63 scrap, I could upgrade. I think what I'm going to do is upgrade our engines once more and get one more power. So now we can get three engine, which gets us up to 29. Um, normally that'd be 25, but because of our crew, as you can see, King here is a master pilot. He's gotten one rank full. Gives us a bit more evasion. Um, and he's actually on the second rank. So every crew member's skill will get to the green, and it'll get to the yellow for that maximum, maximum upgrade. So let's go to the ship to see what's happening here. Um, okay, so kind of what I said with double events last time, you could get the free 14 scrap but if you don't you can get double reward potentially so we're going to attempt to download he wakes up he's mad but we can try to take him out so this guy is not too much of a problem this beam drum could be if they get our shields down efficiently so we shall see if that really will happen but uh we'll launch this um here and then take their weapons out hopefully there we go. Alright, so they can't really do any damage to us now, which is good. So we're just going to kind of hammer into them here. Alright, they cannot dodge. They are screwed, essentially. And one more laser jolt will take them down. Alright, perfect. So we're doing pretty well here. I would like to get some repairs, but we're still okay. Did not get a double reward, but it's worth a shot see what this distress beacon's about. <clears throat> Small space station orbiting the an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and the repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking to help for help to fix or disable it. Let's promise to help. Well, so I know from my knowledge of the game, there's a ton of blue options. If we have an NG, they can hack. If we have a beam weapon, which we actually do, but it's not powered up, you can do stuff. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to simply fire from distance. Fire a few volleys, but aren't able to penetrate the defense. Weapons have no pr trouble piercing ears, though, and you take minor damage before escaping. The station will need to help find help elsewhere. So we took some damage. Not great. Uh, but we're not as bad off as you think. So we're going to get this stuff fixed up here. We'll see, even though he's bad at repairing, we'll send Smith down to help. Get that all done. Just checking the map briefly. <clears throat> So hopefully we can find a store soon, because I do not want to die. We've got, let's see, asteroid field, double asteroid fields. Eh? We're going to come 
he, we're gonna come here I think because I want to see if I can find a store to get some repairs uh, intruder on deck a young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck he begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection the NG have already traced this tele teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner should I side with the fugitive and fight the NG ship or should I agree to offer him up I think I'm gonna offer him up um, because I don't really feel comfortable with that he could kill someone or do something crazy so we got 39 scrap not bad at all Wow all right well we're gonna go we're gonna go to this asteroid field all right, I'm a bit nervous because of our health so I think what I'll do um, honestly I'm gonna get one more engine Engines are kind of slept on by a lot of new players, but they're really, really good because with 30, that's pretty much a third of shots are all going to miss us, which is good. So let's check out this asteroid field. All right, the Rebel Automated Scout has been stationed here. So they have, ooh, they have quite the weapon system here. This could be rough. We may take a fall here. So they have a attack drone too. Um, these can be dangerous. They are better than the normal ones because they move dummy fast do a lot of damage so um, well let's just see what we can do here we're gonna try to take their shields down right away as well as their weapons all right this dodge chance is coming in clutch seen a bunch of stuff miss so we're gonna hopefully do that and then quickly take down their weapons <laughs> what great all right well we did take down their shields fortunately um, all right we're taking a lot of damage here this is unfortunate to say the least it's mostly due to this dumbass drone but uh all right we're gonna pause here and take a second hopefully this can launch off and get their drone out of here um but we do have a fire and we can't vent it um so we're gonna send our rock guy in all right we got their drones down we survived um, we're gonna try to put this out with our rock crew because he's immune uh, honestly we'll get our pilot to come help <clears throat> yeah so that was a dastardly fight that was a very well equipped drone and our health is pretty low which is unfortunate but let's heal all these people up and hopefully <laughs> not die here um, everyone's good. Let's go back. Get our flat gun powered up again. Wow, why are there so many? Alright, well we have to go through another asteroid field, so let's hope. It's not quite as intense of a ship. Alright, they have hacking. Great. Alright, they hacked our O2, which is not that bad. It'll pretty much, if you get hacked or if you hack someone else, it'll disable that system temporarily. Um, so they're going to drain our oxygen a bit, but... That shouldn't really be too bad. We could be in trouble here as well, to be honest. They have a pretty good weapon setup. <clears throat> um, so let's go here. Alright, we took it down. We're going to go for their weapons. We took a bit of damage, but we did take down their burst laser. So... Nothing much to do except try to take their shields down now. Since we don't have access to our flak for a second more. Oh great, we're missing. Alright, things have kind of taken a turn here. Not gonna lie. So let's let our flak charge up here. We're going to drop it in. And take their shields down. Alright, their shields are hurting. They have one left. Hopefully we can just kind of finish them off here. There we go. All right. So now they're screwed. Oh man, I need to repair. <laughs> this is looking dicey. We're gonna come to the exit here. Um, attack the rebels. We can wait and steal supplies. We're pretty low, so I think I'm just gonna wait and steal supplies. 17 scrap, and let's go to the next sector. All right. So we're going to go to NG Control because it's a bit easier and hopefully find a store. Another final tip here, um, NG sectors and civilian sectors will have three stores, whereas all other sectors will only have two. So you can look out for more stores here. Of course, there's none right away, so we're going to be in trouble, but that will have to wait for next episode. Um, 
hopefully you found some more interesting engaging tips and stuff here uh, we're in a tough spot but i think we can bring it back so uh, we shall see but thanks for watching guys again leave questions in the comments if you have any but uh yep that'll be it